Desiree <laughs> has a, quite a fascinating and intriguing past. Yeah, yeah, I have a fascinating way. and intriguing future as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tell me about your, your, your working in the sex industry. Yes, so um, it, when I... So I lived in New York before I moved to the UK, and I worked as a professional dominatrix at that point. Uh, so yeah, I got paid to beat guys up like every woman wants. So so yeah, that was uh, you know that was a way to make money. Like many of the amazing women I worked with, who were all doing you know they were in school or they were actors or they were doing other things. They were nurses, and they were also just like. Oh yeah, I can also actually make money and uh, by yeah. doing this thing that usually a lot of women have to do for no money. Yeah, I mean, I get. I mean, I guess it's, it's quite good money to be made there as well. I would have yeah, thought. Yeah, yeah. If you, if you if you work out your sort of persona and your angle and what your clientele is, yeah, there's quite a bit. So how did you drift into? How did you find out about it? You just know someone. It was just one of those things. I knew someone who knew someone, and it was just one of those things that I always kind of wanted to say that I'd done. Yeah, you know, yeah. um, I was also. I mean, get this, because I was in my early twenties. Oh, there's I'm... some very nervous chittering going oh, no. on. <laughs> oh, it's going to get so much worse. Yeah. No, um, I, so I also did this because I'm an insane person. I was a virgin at the time, so I'd never even had sex myself. So you were inexperienced completely. Yeah, when it comes I was to just like, you know what? I'm going to roll up my sleeves and jump right in and wow. learn all about men and their proclivities by finding out what they do behind closed doors. When you doors. say jump right in, that was just a description. Just, just a description. Know, okay. No, I would never get that okay. oiled up. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Presumably you've used this on stage as well. You've talked about this a lot. Yes, stage, yes. Yeah, yeah. So, I, I mean, honestly, I didn't do it so much in the beginning because I was just sort of a separate part of my existence yeah, that yeah. had happened, but people were so curious about it and yeah. that it was just like, okay, here's a bunch of questions and a bunch of sort of misperceptions about it. Let me just say it's another job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and they are, the, you know, there's a sort of a, a backstage area where you're sitting with other girls just like looking at cell phones, putting on makeup and yeah. corsets and waiting for some guy to come in so you can like step on his d or whatever. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> another Tuesday, you know, yeah, yeah. like. <laughs> another Tuesday must be Westlife, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>